Hi, Kelly. Congratulations Hello. on being part of a Roland Emmerich movie. So Thank tell you. me, how was it working with this legendary director? Working with that, working with Roland. Oh my God. Um, yeah, he, um, <laughs> how do I put this? Oh God. He's a workaholic. He works nonstop. And you just have to, you know, work with his pace. And it's, it's, it gets really exhausted sometimes, but the result is really, really good, as you can see. So yeah, just enjoy the movie. Forget about my tiredness. <laughs> what were your expectations when you signed up for this movie? Um, I was expecting that this role, Michelle, is going to be a, a beautiful woman, which I was not. <laughs> she turns out to be, you know, this intern student who stays in uh, Fowler's house, taking care of um, the little boy, Jamie. And when the moon is about to hit the, the earth, and we all, you know, run away with... Um, Brian's son, Sonny, and we get along really good, become really close friends. So yeah, overall, it's, it's overwhelming and it turns out really good, which I'm happy. What are your thoughts about having extraterrestrial aliens in space? I think there is aliens in space, of course. Um, but usually they don't come to bother us if we're behaving good, you know, for some reasons. Um, you've seen the movie. I don't know if I can tell you that the uh, moon is hollow and it's an alien base. For some reason that um, they decide to exterminate human races. So, yeah, that's, I pretty much just told you the whole story. <laughs> uh this is your first time to work with Halle Berry and Patrick uh, Wilson? Yes, I, yeah, that, that is okay. my first American movie ever. Uh, how can you explain to me uh, like your experience working with these two superstars? I worked uh, mostly with Halle. Uh, I only seen Patrick twice on set. Once is when I first meet him and the second is when I last see him <laughs> in the film as well. And so working with Helly is, is fun and she's super nice, super sweet. Uh, we talk a lot about life, general life and, you know, families and stuff and where I come from. She asks me a lot of questions. Um, I guess she's just really interesting. A lot of, you know, people around her and really interesting what's going on around the world and curious about a lot of stuff. And your character also has a relationship with uh, Charlie Plummer's uh, character, Sunny? Yeah. So how was that? Uh, was it building up to another uh, stronger relationship, like a romantic one or no? In real life? No. <laughs> no, I mean, will you think this will have like a sequel and you oh, are we all thought that we all we all think we, we actually talk about this if, if there's like a moonfall too then it will be like when we got married and when we have our own kids then our own kids like grow up so it'll be like 20 years later <laughs> and the moon uh, like to, to attack us again that's when it happens yeah if our uh, you are also a singer and a musician so and a graduate of berkeley school of music so what made you decide to follow the path of acting? I guess there's um, a lot of chances in this industry that you sometimes meet a lot of um, directors. They think that you, you can act. So they give you this opportunity for you, you know, to be in the movie, uh, in their films. So I guess here I am. Do you see yourself? Plus, plus, I really enjoy acting. Actually, I do love acting as well. So do you see yourself uh, acting in more musicals or what are your dream roles? My dream roles? I, I, don't, I don't overthink. I don't think too much about like future. Like I said, I just 
really would love to enjoy the moment right now. So I think my dream role would be doing whatever I like to do, like in the future, whatever I meet, whoever I uh, think I would become. But maybe one day I want to do martial arts. The other day I wouldn't do musicals instead. Who knows? And uh, you were born in China and you moved to Vancouver uh, at age 15. How was the adjustment for you as a teenager? As a teenager, it was pretty tough, actually. I had to learn a completely new language um, and lost my old friends, meet new friends and new uh, environment, new houses. Yeah, it was, was, was a tough transition, actually. Mm -hmm. Was there any adjustments for you from being a singer to an actress? Was it hard for you to transition? It uh, wasn't that hard, probably because I really love doing it. I think a lot about how like, I would do it better. But I, I tried to study hard and do a lot of researches and you know, just really push myself hard into this. And uh, do you think Hollywood is now opening up to giving Asian actresses more roles and, you know, better chances for better films? Oh, yeah, definitely. Of course, we've just seen that new um, what uh, Marvel movie come out, right? We've just seen that a lot of um, Asian faces seen that movies. We have our own Asian hero now. In, in Hollywood, who are your idols in Hollywood? Hollywood idols? Um, my all-time favorite, Kevin Costner. And why? What? Why? why? Because who doesn't want that kind of bodyguard, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when was the last time you went back to China? I am in China right now. Oh, you are? Um, yeah, I am shooting a movie here, a drama here in Beijing. Oh, great. Well, thank you very much for joining us and good mm -hmm. luck to your career. More power to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.